Hi, I'm Morten. I'm performing small-scale experiments in the wave basin at Aalborg University with a small-scale model of the floating power plant platform. In this uh, uh, video, I'll demonstrate the operational principle of the wave absorbers and how they are used to absorb uh, power from the waves. On this platform, we have four wave energy devices. They are the red boxes that are pitching up and down underneath the platform. Here's another view. Possible to see that when the wave is moving, the absorber is moving relative to the platform. I'll now demonstrate the motion of the absorbers with a closer look. Here you see one of the wave absorbers that are responding to the incident wave with the pitching rotation. There's a, a bearing over there uh, mounted on the platform and when the wave is coming in, the absorber is making a pitching motion relative to the platform. And when it does this pitching motion, this piston is moving in and out. Let me zoom a little bit out to see that this piston is going in and out. When the piston is pushed up, there'll be a compression force in this uh, uh, piston and it's measured by a force sensor by the end of this uh, red wire. Up here we have this silver thing with the black cable coming out. That's a linear electrical motor. It has coils inside and the piston has permanent magnets inside and using the uh, current in the motor I can control the force that these pistons are applying on the, um, on the motion of the absorbers and thereby they absorb power. Here's a view from the front where you can see these bearings, one bearing on one side of the absorber and another one on the other side. So the absorber is doing this pitching motion relative to the platform. The water in the basin is now almost calm and I'll demonstrate the operational principle by moving the absorber by hand. So you can see if I push down the absorber it's doing a pitch downward and the piston is getting uh, go, goes follows the absorber down if i push it up it will move up and this piston will go in and down so now i move it down now i move it up now i move it down now i move it up I'm now going to demonstrate the wave generation. We have the wave generator in the right hand side of the video on the top. And I'm now starting uh, the waves. The water in the basin is almost calm. And you can now see the waves are starting. And as they approach the platform, uh, the wave energy devices will start uh, to move up and down responding to the incident uh, wave. I'm now going to repeat the same uh, little uh, wave, uh, but this time on the graph in the lower right hand corner, I have the motion, the relative pitch motion of these four wave energy devices. Right now there's no wave, so the wave absorbers are standing still at an angle of uh, minus four degrees. I'm now starting the wave, so you see on the video on the top that the wave is coming in, and as the wave is coming in, uh, it makes the absorber move, 
and we can see that the absorbers are then going to pitch up and down relative to the platform uh, like plus minus uh, 10 degrees. I have now changed the graph in the lower right hand corner on the top one instead of the pitch motion I have the relative pitch velocity. Uh, on the lower graph I have the power production and right now I'm not restricting the motion, I'm not dampening the motion. Um, now I'm going to switch on the wave energy devices and you will see that the motion of the absorber decreases, the velocity decreases and you will see that they start uh, to uh, produce uh, power. Um, you can also see that as the absorber goes up and down it's producing power both on the upward stroke and on the downward stroke. This is for a regular wave. In this last demonstration I'm going to demonstrate the effect of irregular wave. I'll start an irregular wave now. An irregular wave is a wave consisting of small and, and high waves, of short and long waves in a combination that you'll find in reality. So you'll see now that the uh, motion on the top graph is uh, showing an irregular uh, pattern. Um, the wave energy devices are, are still not switched off so it's not producing power on the lower graph. I will now switch on uh, the absorbers and you will see that the wave energy devices uh, starts to absorb uh, power. Um, and you might also notice that the motion was slightly decreased uh, as as uh, the motion is, is damped due to this uh, power absorption. So, uh, in this way, I have demonstrated the operational principle of the absorbers and I have showed how the absorbers are moved to absorb power from uh, the waves. I hope you enjoyed the little uh, demonstration. Have a nice day.